Rock DIY or do it you. I'm going to test this. Not sure it's going to work. But I have these plastic shreds. HDP number two recyclable plastic. I'm going to put them in this toaster oven directly in the pan instead of using parchment paper and see if I can actually get the melted plastic out of the pan when I'm done melting it. I already pulled the plastic out one time to look at it, and this pan actually worked pretty good as far as not sticking to it, almost like a, an omelet. Shrinking up quite a bit, but it's melting uh, down pretty good and not sticking to the pan. Don't know how long that'll last because, like most pans, works for a little while and then after a while it starts sticking everywhere on the pan. But we'll see. The purpose in doing some of these tests is to determine whether I've been wasting my time cutting up plastic uh, containers to recycle, repurpose. So I want to see, uh, with this, this was shredded pieces that actually came out of a planer of a piece of plastic that I planed. And I folded it over on itself a couple times, and then I'm going to put it in my jig over here, mold, whatever you want to call it, press it out, and then uh, see what it looks like. But so far what I'm seeing is it seems to be maintaining the shape of some of the pieces in it. And then for the next test, I'm going to do actual larger cut plastic pieces and see how well they melt down as well. Really I just want to make sure that I'm not doing more work than I need to. If I can just put bigger pieces in here and have them melt down and form a solid block then I don't need to be doing all the cutting that I'm doing. This is HDPE number two plastic. smoking. So I've done this several times and I've never had any issue with it burning or smoke coming out of the toaster oven. So, so far so good. This piece right here is pretty melted. So what I'm going to do is take it, put it in the center of this jig, take that top, put it on top, and then press it down with these clamps and try to flatten it out as much as possible. This is the molded pressed piece of HDPE number two recyclable plastic. And this was all basically one gallon cartons water uh, water bottles and you can see that the original water bottles kind of have a um, blurry transparency in their normal state but once you melt them down it's pretty much all white these brown spots are from 
the leather gloves that I wear to handle the hot plastic. But other than that, they're, it's pretty white. You can see some other discoloration just because of printing that was on the containers. This is a big shopping bag full of HDP number two recyclable plastic containers. And a lot of them are water bottles, uh, syrup bottle, there's some isopropyl alcohol bottles. All these have been rinsed out. Because you definitely don't want them catching fire when you're melting them down. Some juice containers. The majority of the caps for these don't have what type of material they're made out of. So in most cases, those don't get melted down since I don't know what they are. This is my next test on HDPE number two, recycled plastic. I'm using much bigger pieces and it looks like there's a lot of it, but once it melts down, it may not be very much. And hopefully it'll melt all this together. It may take a little bit longer than my last test though. For this experiment, this is all HDPE number two recyclable plastic, but it's all the same type of containers. They're all one gallon water bottles. And what I'm doing is checking to see if, if it's all the same material, will the color be consistent throughout without other types of plastics mixed in because when you mix other plastics in you end up with a, a lot of variations in the color. I have the temperature set to 350 and if you want to verify whether you're at 350 or not you get an internal thermometer to verify that it's at 350 and you want to be careful trying to go higher to speed up the process and one way you'll know if you're above 350 is as the plastic melts it'll start to get a brownish tint to it if it gets a brown if it gets a brownish tint you want to bring your temperature down otherwise once it's done it'll have this uh, burnt brownish look to it you can tell when the plastic's starting to melt because it'll get this clear, glossy look on the edges. This is the large pieces of plastic, and what I've discovered up to this point is it really doesn't matter to cut it all up and blend it before melting. Um, but what you do have to do is do it in layers. So right now it's melting down. And then what I'll do is I'll put another layer on it, put it melt down, and then do it again several more times. Uh, because if you put too much in at one time, the top and bottom melts, but the middle does not melt. It, it will melt, but it just takes time but it's just easier to do it in layers. The way that you know that everything is melted and bonded is when it's almost got a clear gloss to it. You can see over here it's kind of white. So I'll you know, let it sit for a little bit longer to get it even all the way across.
please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.